and chair at the Law and Government School at Durham Law School. He joins me now for more on this. Tom, good to have you on the show. Um, this is certainly uh, uncharted territory we're dealing with here with the Prime Minister uh, in ICU and intensive care. Um, but with the country not having a uh, written constitution from, from a legal perspective, uh, who takes over from uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson if he is unable to perform his duties? Yes, so in, in Britain, there isn't any constitutional uh, succession plan that, uh, that's, a, as it were, in stone. So, for example, in many other countries, you'll have a president or prime minister that'll have a, a deputy or a vice president who would automatically uh, take over. In Britain, there is uh, no such uh, succession planning. Past prime ministers have had a, a deputy prime minister that they have chosen uh, to appoint, but, uh, but David Cameron, Theresa May, and now Boris Johnson, the three successive Tory Prime Ministers have chosen not to do it. He has nominated in advance the Foreign Secretary, Dominic Robb, to take over in his absence if he was unable to do his duties. So there is somebody uh, in line should he um, be unable to, to do his duties. And it would seem, since he's in intensive care, that, uh, that that very much is the case. But there seems to be some uh, confusion as to how in charge of the country Dominic Robb uh, really is while the prime minister is is effectively uh, out of commission. And, and there's a, a recent statement that if Dominic Raab were to then come down uh, with symptoms and be unable and, and be unable to uh, lead the country, that somehow uh, things would pass to the chancellor, who only a month or two ago was, was a junior minister, as now uh, could possibly be uh, effectively the acting prime minister. Um, but this is all seems to be moving very quickly and, uh, and again, with much confusion. Uh, Tom, I'm wondering how how you see the the UK government functioning um, if the prime minister is out for a prolonged uh, period of time. I think they they've had difficulty anyway. Um, so the government was very slow to uh, act in um, in the houses of, of the Commons or and, and Lords to social distance there. Um, uh, a health minister, Nadine Doris, uh, was confirmed a uh, case uh, for coronavirus uh, very early on, and it seems to have spread, if not from her, from others, uh, very quickly across the, the front bench. The effective deputy, Michael Gove, is now self-isolating at home. Other uh, senior ministers, uh, the health secretary, also uh, seem to come down with symptoms of, of the coronavirus as well. So they all seem to have been struck by this virus without... Um, w by not moving, as it, it would seem, quick enough to protect themselves while they were giving uh, messages to the public about um, others protecting uh, themselves, uh, too. That has been a real problem, as, uh, as a number of people okay. have, have just not been able uh, to work. So this is not just the, the prime minister who is out of the picture. It's not just some senior ministers that are out of the picture uh, now as well. But it's also the, the top aide, the, the, the chief aide to the prime minister, uh, Dominic Cummings, he's also uh, had symptoms and is at home and, and it would seem um, not able to, okay. to function fully Tom, at the moment I want, either. I want to so ask you. There's been uh, a real paralysis uh, at the top. Okay. Um, in a week's time, the lockdown uh, is expected to be lifted. Who um, is going to be tasked with making the decision on this, uh, on this very important decision? Well, uh, it seems at the moment it would be Dominic Robb, the foreign secretary who the prime minister has, has effectively put into his place, assuming all else is uh, is well and, and hopefully the prime minister will recover. It would seem the prime minister will require at least a few weeks, um, uh, we understand, um, about a month uh, possibly to recover from uh, the treatment he's having right now. So it would be Dominic Robb to uh, deliver this. But while we expect the lockdown to begin to um, uh, loosen up, um, and it would be Rob's decision to make over the next few weeks. We also expect from this weekend things to um, hit um, its height um, in the UK. So Rob will um, be tasked with that, that that very important decision, critically important decision about when to lift uh, measures, but also may have to uh, be at the helm during uh, what might be, unfortunately, the, the worst uh, that we're expected to see in the UK right now. So, so quite a daunting task uh, for, for someone uh, who only was nominated by the Prime Minister uh, a few weeks ago uh, to be in this position. And, and it's unsure if uh, 
what, what level of preparedness he's been given for this. And, and also it's unclear about what other areas he is able to, to lead on. So while he is, to, he is stepping in for the prime minister, he's making comments about the coronavirus. He is the one to, to lead the country through this, but would allegedly be in charge of all other matters. Is he having re weekly talks with the queen, which the prime minister would be doing and other such matters? Uh, yeah, so sure. That's what he ought to be doing if he is standing in for the prime minister, but all these things are unclear. All right, Tom, uh, thanks for joining us here on TRT World and, and making sense of this very complicated situation. Tom Brooks, live for us.